cooperation tool is a support tool for actors involved in rural and regional development to gain new ideas on suitable networks or to equip them with the necessary knowledge to create and develop new networks in their area or region. Small business owners use networking as a means to form relationships with others in like or related fields that help to expand their business's ability to find new customers, partners and to grow. When you select to access the tool, you're asked for a username and password. For a limited time, this is filled in and the user can log in without having to enter details in these fields. Once you log in, you're presented with a short description as well as a list of options on how to use the tool. There are two uses. To search what networks are out there, and to discover the steps involved in creating or developing a network. To get started, we will look at the selection of networks. On this page, you are presented with a matrix of networks by sector. The three sectors of Rubismal, food, bio-based activities, and ecosystem services, and by network focus, new products or services, new business models or technologies, exploitation of waste and renewables, and information and knowledge exchange. You've the option here to select all or select the sector and or the focus of the network you wish to get information on. If we select all for a moment, it will show that there are 82 networks included in the tool across 13 countries. If you scroll down, you will see a list of the types of networks included in the tool. And by selecting the one that most interests you, get more information on this and the number of networks by that type and in how many countries. You can also select networks by impact, such as improving business development or improving access. Again, you can select all or select the impact that interests you the most. In a similar fashion, you can also select networks by collaboration. see where enterprise and policy collaboration or enterprise and research etc. Again the number of networks and across how many countries will be highlighted on the selection you choose. Now pause the video and attempt exercise one. You will have noticed the map of Europe on the right hand side of the page. When you select a sector and or a focus, the relevant countries are highlighted. If you want to know what networks are available in the food, bio-based activities and ecosystem services in France, you can select France on the map. You will see that a list of eight networks appear and you can select which one interests you to get more information on that network. Now pause the video and attempt exercise two. You can also compare networks across a number of countries in one sector. Let's say bio-based activities and focus it on new technologies. So the first step would be to select these off the matrix. You'll see that there are 28 networks across 11 countries. You then go to the map and select the number of countries you want more information on. When you click in the country, a list of networks appear and you can select the ones you want to compare. 
For example, select networks in France, Germany, and Sweden to compare. You can select more or less depending on your preference. So you have six networks to compare. Click here to continue. The list you have selected will appear. You can remove some of the networks or if you're happy with your selection, click confirm. You're brought to a new page where there is a PDF file with information on the network with regards to type, impact and collaboration. You can then select the Add to Compare button to compare with others. You can compare three networks at a time. You can change your selection by clicking on the Reset button. If you're satisfied with your choices, click on Compare. A list of features will appear and these are marked accordingly for each network to allow for easy comparison. You can also compare the type of network each one is by typology, by impact, and by cooperation or collaboration. This will help you see if the network meets your needs and is worth contacting. Click on the reset button in the top left-hand corner to bring you back to the main page. Now pause the video and attempt exercise three. The other use of the cooperation tool is for the creation or development of a network. When you go onto the page, you will be presented with a guidance on developing a network. Access to the organization models allows you, the user, to select the partner structure you want for your network, whether you want a network with just all entrepreneurs or a mix of entrepreneurs, industry and government, for example. Management helps you decide on goals. Will the network be staffed? The legal structures of the network. While under services, you can decide on what services you want to provide members of your network. You can also access these through the menu. Introduction, Network Organization Models, Management Options, Selection of Services and Supporting Literature. At the bottom of the page, there are some questions to help you consider what you want for your network such as what do you want to get out of your network? Who do you want as partners? How big do you want your network to be? Will it be small or large? What works best for you? Once you have considered these, you can begin to develop your plan. If you click on the organization model, you will be presented with six different types of network models and you're advised to select one for the development plan. If you move on to the management options, there are seven to choose from. You can select one or several of the options available here and you can read more detail on each one before selecting the ones that best suits you and your network plan. Moving on to the selection of services that you want your network to provide to its members, you're presented with a list of services. You can select as many of these as you wish. Once you have all your selections made, your network development plan is available to print and you are ready to start your network.
Congratulations! By now you should have a good understanding of the tool and be able to use it to help you with your own networking needs. As a final challenge, please pause the video and attempt exercise four.